Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Robotive JL. Today we're going to do a little side rail mod. They're actually called Ruby Rails for the new Jeep Wrangler back here. Now, what these are for, I'll show you the parts in just a second, but if you're not going to put side steps or rock rails or anything like that on, you notice you have this kind of unfinished looking area on the Wrangler. I don't really dig this. So, I came across, I guess, what is called Ruby Rails. They're to take up that space, and they do afford a little bit of protection along that rail. I've got them all unpacked right here. It's pretty simple. They just bolt on. There's really, what, two, four, six bolts for each one. They provide all of the hardware, so you have all of that stuff uh, to get it installed, and then some spacers to keep them just a little bit away from the painted area that we're going to put them up against if necessary. They provide, I think it's a 3 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. Um, all the tools that you're going to need for this are ratchet and then a couple of sockets. We have a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, and of course a knife to be able to cut the box open. Uh, mine came unscathed even though there was a nice puncture wound in the box so I'm happy about that and then some Loctite as well only for the bolts that are going to go into the Jeep itself the hardware that's just going to sandwich onto that rail underneath there comes as nylon threaded lock nuts it looks like so we don't need anything yeah there is some nylon in there we don't need anything to lock those on although if you wanted to go the extra mile I suppose you could put some Loctite on I don't think I'm going to, but we shall see. So, first thing is to go ahead, get underneath or beside the Jeep, and make sure they fit how I want them to, and that everything lines up, and discover whether or not I'll need to use any of these spacers. So, I'm going to put you on the old uh, hat cam, and we're going to get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I believe they go like this, I think. You gotta figure out exactly how they go on there. I'm pretty sure it's like this. Um, you want the, it looks like the longer end of this whole concoction here, which is this side with the JL stamped in it, to be towards the back of the Jeep, I believe. So, I'm pretty sure, let's make sure, uh, they fit on like this, so see if I can't get this front one in and it looks a little snug so I might have to push this down a little bit I'm not quite sure hopefully not or pull these in both of them are pretty stout I don't want to scratch this up any more than necessary so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finagle that so I'm gonna get under here I do want to make sure that the holes for the two uh, uh, brackets here are available under there so let me make sure they're there and set this aside I'm trying to do this without scratching anything uh, the Jeep or the new bracket so let's get under here and take a quick peek just to make sure that the holes I expect to be there are there and there's one right there probably should make sure the bolts actually fit in them let's check that out and they do, no issue there. Let's check in the back. The other one should be right here, and it is. I love it when things come out the way they're supposed to. That one's kind of, nah, it had some grime in there, I think. But there you go, that one fits as well. So I do have the right locations. That's always a good thing. Now, I just need to fit the bracket over. As I mentioned, it appears to be a little bit tight. So, let's, uh, let's try that again. Again, I don't want to ding anything up if I can help it. Because they look so nice the way they are right now. Okay. Let's see. That one fits quite well. This one, as I mentioned, is rather tight. Looks like it needs to be opened just a little bit more. This one would fit on there quite easily. 
this side not so much so and I'm already probably scratching it I think what I might do is try to open this up just a little bit more I could jam it up in there but then I'll scratch the hell out of the paint right here and I don't really want to do that that's just providing an opportunity for rust right it's just a little bit tight so I think what I'm gonna do is grab the other one since this is my first one and let's make sure that uh, it's gonna fit the same way so let me do that I don't think it matters which one you go with I don't believe unless I just got lucky and I might have it looks like I did because if I try to put this one on the other side it uh, would have the wrong end on but I should check that let's make sure I've never done this before so why not make sure I'm doing it correctly right pretty sure this one is for the other side uh, there was a hit I don't know if it even does it matter yeah see it would matter that's <laughs> it's definitely for the other side after pounding on the other side which I have on by the way we're on the driver's side now I realized if you lift these up at an angle it put the first screw in and then kind of rotate it a little and put the second screw in it fits so there's really no reason to bang on them uh, to get them in the only question I have or concern is the gapping on these things um, it's a little bit more towards the back here than it is towards the front area although once you tighten them down they do kind of pull up just a little bit um, but I might go ahead and put a spacer on this side uh, just to make sure that they're as even as I can get them so I'm going to do that next up and I'll see if I can show you under here I don't know if you'll be able to see uh, but if you look under here right here is where the screws are uh, you put a nut here a nut here and then the bigger screw right up here through the top and that's pretty much it now these brackets uh, as I mentioned earlier are thicker and thinner so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thicker one up here in the front and the way they work uh, you kind of slide the back over I don't know if you guys can see this hopefully you can and then the front part uh, slides right up if there's enough space which I actually had to take the other side out and there is enough space so even didn't, didn't even have to do that uh, and that evens them up pretty well and then once you tighten it up uh, it should pull them up so the spacing is pretty darn close I think so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll take a look and see uh, how the spacing is on them and if I need to I'll back them back out I only put one screw on each side and go ahead and uh, remove that spacer I'll just put one here in the back and then one in the front okay got it all done by the way I will put uh, the part number and stuff at the end of the video and I'll also put a link down below if I can find one for this in case you're interested in picking these up for yourself uh, pretty simple mod once you figure out what you're doing as far as putting it on I did not need to bang on those uh, screw brackets or whatever to bend them a little live and learn now you won't do that but let's take a look here's the driver's side that's what it looks like on the side um, at the right angle it looks like there's a big gap here but you know if you know it's there and you're looking for it I suppose you're gonna see it let's check the other side I can tell you when you're walking up to it or from a distance or whatever you don't notice that so it's not a big deal what you don't want is that to be against the paint of the Jeep down there because it will rub that paint off as everything moves around while you're driving I love the look at it of it rather I'll, uh, I'll post some shots of it outside instead of so cramped and in the shade in here so you guys can actually see it probably some before and afters as well anyway it's just a, a quick way to cover up that pinch weld there 
if you're not looking to add sidesteps or sliders. I don't think they have any real value as sliders. Um, they're just a hollow tube, so I'm not sure you know they'd really do much. If anything, they'd keep brush, I guess, from slamming up against the side of your Jeep. But you wouldn't want to run over rocks and things with these. Uh, they'll just bend. They wouldn't hold up for that. You'd need something solid, solid steel throughout and uh, a little stronger if you're looking for something like that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know if you've ever done these before and how are they holding up for you? Any rust or anything? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.